Good evening, Cena streamers, and welcome to the 2024 Make It Rain campaign seasonal event in Final Fantasy XIV. This will be my complete event playthrough on Naya Lalita here. We are simply having a wonderful gold saucer time. And with that, let's get started. We're here in Old Da, as is customary for this event, and we have our new NPC friend, Quivon. A heterochromatic elf boy with a quest for us of impish importance Quivon is convinced that the truth is out there this quest is available for a limited time only all right the truth huh that eclectic attire that distinct scent of the unknown you my good stranger must be an adventurer you have found yourself in the company of Quivon, journalist for the Thevnerian Truth. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Are you aware of the festivities currently underway at the Gold Saucer? They guarantee a generous MGP bonus to those who participate, but I have reason to believe that there is more to this celebration than meets the eye. As a writer for the premier publication on unexplained and otherworldly phenomena, I was drawn not to the promise of copious cactpots, but to the rumors of enigmatic water imps that have suddenly proliferated amongst the saucer's patrons. Imps, you say? We at the Thavnarian Truth have been looking to expand our investigations across the star, and this supernatural scoop presents us with the ideal opportunity. Why have the imps made themselves known now? What do they intend to accomplish? I must cover this groundbreaking story with all due haste, but I cannot hope to answer all these questions alone. Tell me, adventurer, would you aid me in my pursuit of truth? Of course, why else am I here? Excellent, excellent. Then let us reconvene at the Gold Saucer's entrance square. All right, he's clearly taking the airship. We're not going to take the airship. <laughs> oh, and we do have... Oh, Leap of Faith is up! <laughs> here is Quavon. We have our campaign attendant over here. We'll visit them later. Also, as a reminder, the Moogle Treasure Trove event and Yokai are both currently uh, running alongside our Make It Rain campaign. Here's Quivon chillin'. You had to pick the spot with like the most unflattering light, didn't you? Didn't you? Truly. Ah, you've arrived! Notice anything out of the ordinary? Hmm. Let's have a look. We've got our campaign attendant out for the event. We've got the usual suspect resisting removal from the premises, and... Ah, uh, yes. An oversized imp and a woman wearing sunglasses indoors. Highly suspicious. Uh, <laughs> what did it just say to me? I think our creature is in costume. Okay, the first line here is so appropriate for the reaction they give your character. That animation is so funny. Hmm. I think Naya would be a little more pragmatic here. Also, full disclosure. I have, as usual, done this on other characters, and I do know certain things coming up. I'm going to have Naya break character for the sake of documenting all the possible things. In this moment, she's in character. I think our creature is in costume. Huh. 
<sighs> Indeed. An imitation and nothing more. Unfazed. <laughs> And here I thought I could rival the editor-in-chief with my own unprecedented article. Now what am I to report? This is but child's play next to the extraterrestrial discoveries he has made. We have found the source of the rumors, but... Saucer imps unmasked, just normal men and women in costume. Why, that sounds more to me like a waste of good ink. Ha. <sighs> It's unacceptable, worthless, unfit for consumption. Gods, I grow drowsy just thinking about writing such a thing. Our readership would be appalled. Fortunately, there is another curious lead that I wish to pursue. In doing so, we may frame our story around the current festivities, then recount the role of the imps within them. Yes, that might suffice. You see, as I awaited your arrival, I questioned the attendant at the front desk as to the imps' origins. Strangely enough, I was told that only a select few staff members were present in the planning stages of this affair, and fewer still know who proposed the initial idea. I was, however, informed that a staff member on the floor, a man attending to an imp, may have the information we seek. If we split up and search the saucer, we're bound to find him. Okay. I shall leave Wonder Square to you. Let us reconvene here when our rounds are complete. O okay, Quavon. Good luck. So we are off then to Wonder Square. We have an avid attendant with an imp. Hello, sirs, sir and creature. Well met, my good woman. My companion and I are delighted to make your acquaintance. He cannot speak like you and I, but I assure you, he is oh so fond of making new friends on this joyous, impish occasion. Who, who set him up for doing this, by the way? What is the occasion, you ask? No, I asked who. <laughs> Why, the March of the Imps, of course. It is a fresh new take on our annual celebration here at the Gold Saucer, as suggested by one of our staff. When we first received word of it, we were rather baffled by the concept, but it seems to have left a positive impression on our guests. To present our patrons with the most engaging experience possible, we've outfitted our attendants with impish attire. These costumed imps are free to frolic about the saucer and bring joy to those they meet with an adorable squee or ha ha ha! Why imps, one might ask, and they would have good reason to do so. Alas, I myself was never told the exact reasoning. But if you're keen to learn more of the march, I know just the imp who can assist you. He's the one who coined the idea for it, after all. I last saw him on the second floor at the Manderville Lounge. He may still be there, if you hurry. If he should speak to you in the impish tongue, you needn't fret. He is particularly unique, even among his brethren, and he makes his intentions quite clear to those not versed in imp speak. Not versed in imp speak, huh? If you're searching for the imp I spoke of, you should be able to find him at the Manderville Lounge. He may still be there if you hurry. Okay, and that should be right upstairs. Which, uh, there's no stairs in this particular area, but there is a water elevator. Woohoo! <laughs> huh. Wow. Gee. I wonder who that could be. Hmm. Definitely no resemblance. I don't know this person at all. Hello, imposing imp. Squee. Ka-pa-pa! Ka-pa-pa! -pa. 
Though you feel as if there's been some grave misunderstanding, the imposing imp suddenly entrusts you with a set of impish attire. His piercing gaze reaches into the very depths of your soul, and you somehow come to understand what he is trying to tell you. Go forth, my stalwart apprentice. You have the sinking feeling that the imp will not provide you with the information you require until you have completed his task. It is now your solemn duty to don the impish attire and entertain the patrons in Event Square. You must continue wearing this costume in order to progress. Speak with the imposing imp to restore or prolong the garment change. Alright, so we're using the guise feature here. It lasts a whole half hour, which is more than enough time. But, do you say anything else? Scree! Ka -pa -pa! And that just refreshes the guy's status. Alright. So we have to go find three patrons and entertain them. Mm hmm. Now, this is where I'll be breaking Naya's character to show a little bit of extra dialogue. We have a demanding daughter. Does your does your parent here say anything? Looks like no. Hello, child. Wow, you're one of those new mascots. You must know all about the prizes here, right? I saved up lots of MGP, but I'm not sure what to exchange it for. Why not exchange it for a water imp? Like mine. H how come you can talk? Senor Sabatender doesn't talk. Why can't you be like him? You seem to have frightened the young girl. Perhaps you should try a different approach. So yeah, in character, Naya would do as instructed and use one of the imp uh, responses. But we'll be doing this for all of the patrons, just to see what their uh, failure response is. <laughs> Alright. What should I spend it on, the girl asks. We will. Kappa! <laughs> Aren't you cute? If only I could take you home with me. Oh! I know! They have little imps that look just like you at the prize counter. They sure do, kid. Daddy! I want a water imp! Let's go get one! Please? Pretty please? Uh-huh. One happy customer down. Or moderately happy after I frightened her to start. Next we have... A mascot-loving maiden. Who I believe may have made an appearance in one or two events previously. Oh, hello there. You must be that new mascot that's been marching about. Some manner of imp, was it? I like your hat, uh, head, uh, thing. <laughs> Lip, bloop, affirmative. I am the pinnacle of imp technology. Wh what in the world does that even mean? Mascots are supposed to be cute and cuddly, not cold and calculating. The patron appears to be displeased with your response. Perhaps you should try a different approach. Very well. We will squee. How precious! I was a bit afraid to chat with you at first, but you're much friendlier than I imagined. First, Senor Sabatender, now you. Ah, what that I never had to leave the saucer. I could spend the rest of my days surrounded by adorable creatures like you. Alright, two. And our final one is across the way. Up or down? I think down, because there's not a lot of up spaces. Down indeed. The arrow on the map says all. Yahoo! A pitiable patron. Hello, sir. Why are you pitiable this day? 
judging by the eccentric attire, I'm going to assume you work here. Tell me which of these attractions aren't stacked against me. I've lost nearly all my MGP today, and I need to find a way to earn it back somehow. Allow me to assist you! Bloody hells, I wasn't expecting you to talk! N never mind the question, actually. I, I need a moment to recover from that. The patron appears to be displeased with your response. Perhaps you should try a different approach. And a different approach we shall take. We will. Kappa! What? Is that your way of consoling me? <laughs> As if I needed pity from an oversized frog. Still, I appreciate the sentiment. Luck may not be on my side, but it's nice to know someone else is. Your impish antics have brought joy to the saucer's patrons. Return to the imposing imp and inform him of your success. Alright, back we go. Now this part here, if you happen to want it to do this a little faster, you can right click or disable the uh, disguise buff and skip a little extra dialogue here. But I will be seeing it. Ka -pa -pa. The imposing imp appears downcast, as if he was expecting someone else. Perhaps it would be best to remove your impish attire. I've, I've done your silly tasks and messed up every one. Kappa. Oh, hey, Clavon. He probably did a lot more interviewing than I did. I'm glad you agree. In the ephemeral moments that the imposing imp's gaze meets yours, you are overcome with a mysterious sense of obligation and realize what he is trying to tell you. Let us continue our discussion at Entrance Square. Alright, come little friend, we're going to Entrance Square. Weird, you're not the imp. How was, how was your uh, experience here, Quivon? Ah, there you are. Loath as I am to admit it, my search for the ones behind this event has yielded little success. Regardless of my results, it's plain to see that the imps are well loved by all. But I cannot write an article on that fact alone. How did you fare, my honorary assistant? So I ran into Godbert Ag Imp Mander Imp. This man. Oh-ho! Tis a pleasure as always to see you at the Saucer, Naya. The Godbird Manderville? Never did I think I'd meet a member of the Syndicate face to face. Surely you of all people know who proposed the idea for this event. Mm-hmm. Your generous deeds this day have not gone unnoticed, so I believe an explanation is in order. It was I who proposed the idea for these festivities, as a matter of fact. That doesn't surprise me. Perhaps you are already aware, but we employ a void scent known as Typhon here at the Gold Saucer. Summoned into this world by the Thaumaturge's Guild, he is a diligent soul who utilizes his formidable fungas to our patrons' benefit. It was not long after I hired Master Typhon that I became acquainted with a high-ranking member of the Guild. 
Through him, I learned of a curious spell from ages past, known only as Imp. True to its name, the spell transforms the target into the very being you have espied marching about the saucer. Master Ultros is proficient in the very same spell. Mayhap you fell victim to it during your encounter atop Dragon's Neck. He oft refers to imps as his buddies and pals, in fact. I found myself quite enamored with these adorable creatures, and sought to answer the questions that yet lingered in my mind. Where do did the imps come from, and how did their spell fall into the hands of man? I poured through what few resources were available on the subject, yet I could not find a definitive answer. Heartbreaking though it was, I was left with no choice but to leave the creature's lineage shrouded in mystery. Nevertheless, I could not allow their history to fade into obscurity. When it came time to decide the theme of our annual festivities, I crafted the impish attire based on my findings, and proposed a celebration in their honor. You utilized these costumes not only to entertain, but to educate others as well. And with that, the full story is laid bare. Story? Indeed. Though I know not if such a conclusion will prove ideal for the Thavnerian truth. I feel a story coming on! Myth made manifest at the Gold Saucer! Thaumaturgical history reveals Imp's mystery! Ha <laughs> Yes! This is the scoop I seek! Oh, okay. It is as Master Mandeville says. Much about these imps remains an enigma, but they have brought countless smiles to the Gold Saucer. Readers shall doubtless want to learn of their existence, as well as the events that brought these few facts to the fore. Such passion and drive to shed light upon the unknown is a fascinating tale, one that I shall do my utmost to depict. <laughs> That's the spirit, lad. It would be an honor to see our imps grace your publication's pages. I shall look forward to reading your account of it in the coming days. This young man's story will doubtless bring all the more attention to the march of the imps, so I must express my thanks in the spirit of the celebration. With a set of impish attire, of course. You have my deepest gratitude as well, adventurer. Inspiration calls and I must away to make these ideas a reality. But your contributions were vital to this discovery. You are more than deserving of reward. So Godbert gives me a costume and you give me... A pittance of gill. <laughs> a job well done, my friend. The festivity shall be underway for some time yet, so I hope you will not squander the opportunity to enjoy this moment of respite and march with our fellow imps. Yeah! My kingdom for better lighting in this place, though. <laughs> Look at this. This is so... This is so... <laughs> Who is that? Shrouded in mystery, completely backlit as a silhouette. One of the imp mascots. And yeah, so <laughs> Godbert gives us the costume, and Quivon gave us uh, a pittance of gill. And, it's, and then some experience points, apparently. Level 15. Let's go. Quest complete, and the imp leaves. Okay. Whoever set up that little pan at the end, I just I just want to talk, buddy. Try try those things out with a couple different lighting setups because this place is so bad for so many camera angles and lighting. It's it's unique, it's colorful, but oh boy, oh boy, like oofa. The back lighting is real. All right, quest complete. We got the two items. They'll go in the armoire. Once again, if you look in the tooltip, 
in the upper right corner. That last little icon is lit up. That means it can go in the armoire. Free storage, free real estate. Please make use of it. Storage is so limited in this game if you're collecting anything and everything. As is usual, I will be walking around the gold saucer to see who or what might be around after the event's conclusion. I will point out, during that final conversation, Godbert mentioned something that you will only have access to by doing some Hildebrand quests. If you do not do the Hildebrand quests, Godbert will not mention uh, <laughs> encountering the imp spell. <laughs> but I do see someone right away who is here for the event, and it is our friend Kippy, Kippy Jackia, a fellow reporter. When I heard the Gold Saucer took a new approach to their annual celebration, I thought it best to report my findings and write something up before my rivals had the chance. But now that I've seen it for myself, I'm not quite sure where to begin. Fair, Kippy. Quivon also struggled. This is a player. Let's make sure nobody's hanging out at the airship landing. Nobody new or unusual. Looks like that answer is no. You're normally here, right, Saluni? Quite so. Always here. Alright. Got our greeters. We've got the kid getting threatened with mines. We got the jugglers. We got more greeters. Is there anybody hanging out? I doubt somebody's in the triple triad hall. These are all the usual faces. Usual faces, usual faces. Okay, yep, normally here, normally here. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, that's it for the entrance square. These are players. You're a player, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's come on up to Realm Square. We do have an imp standing here. Hello. Ka pa pa! It says and gestures and resumes a guarding stance. We have Senor Sebatender walking around, as usual. Gatekeeper is not uncommon. These folks are normal. Aha! These imps don't hold a candle to Senor Sabatender. And this is a character from a previous Make It Rain event. He is the one who puts on the Senor Sabatender costume. He is the Senor Sabatender. Not to be confused with these, clearly. The sub attender told me that there was fish in here. I think she is usually here, but that's a very funny line. Got lots of people doing gates once again. Ooh, Violet Imp. Give me a second. As a reminder, we do also have the irregular tombstone event and doing gates awards those as well as getting bonus MGP rewards during Make It Rain campaign. So the gold saucer is bobbin. Violet Imp. You are a ninja and an Aura. I think you're Yugiri. Naya, glad am I to find a familiar face among these holes. I am come on behalf of Lord Hien to investigate the creatures you know as water imps. In the far east, we call them Kappa, and they oft appear in our myths. My lord was unusually intrigued by reports of the imps' appearance, and would not rest until he learned more of this phenomenon. Yet his position allows him little time for such trivial matters, and thus did I travel here in his stead. Know you of the muscular imp that roams the saucer? T'was no sooner after I arrived than he bestowed upon me this suit of attire. Perhaps I shall wear it again upon my return to Dorma. My lord was eager to see these living legends up close. Alright. I'm, I'm assuming you have to complete Stormblood for you, Giddy? to appear here. I don't know for sure, but that's pretty cute. Got the Sipitender fan club over here. 
Back to the gatekeeper, back to them. Alright, next square. These two are always smooching in the hallway. I don't fancy my bird the fleetest in the realm. But but they do they do pretty well. They do pretty well for themselves. You're always here and you say nothing. Cool, cool. Hensden is always here. Okay. Ooh, a dreaming imp. This is a Makote. I see that. I see that tail. Such intriguing creatures, these water imps. If I am ever fortunate enough to dream of them, I would invite them to our hatching tide festivities without delay. Perhaps one day, they might even decipher our language and speak with us more candidly. I once welcomed a curious talking rabbit to our celebrations, and I would welcome talking imps with equal enthusiasm. So that is, I believe, Jilly Aliapo, our recurring NPC for Hatching Tide each year, the one who has dreams of archons and eggs. And she's here in a little pink suit. Alright, that's a player. The f these two are always here. These three are always here. Alright, let's complete a loop down here. Oh. I think... I'm not sure if this Makote is always here or not. She doesn't have anything to say, though. These guys are always here. They're, they're a trip. If you haven't hung around to see their dialogue, I highly uh, recommend it. Those three are also always here. We've got... These two, not players, they're just chilling. Also usually here. And I believe... Oh, we have one more standing imp. Do you do the same thing? Ka -pa -pa! He cheers us on, resumes guarding very well. And I do believe that completes our rounds down at the bottom level. So let's head on upstairs and see what the second floor of Event Square has for us. If anything, I don't know. This much I have not done before. This girl is always forlornly looking out over the Etherite Plaza by herself without saying anything. These two are usually here, talking odds. Is there anybody hanging out at the Cactpot area? Let's see. These two are always here. We got NPCs. We got. Aw, oh, man. Nobody's at the Cactpot board. That's kind of a bummer. Kind of a bummer. These two are usually here. And we got the guys carrying crates. Alright. This is where we came up, so let's whoop, go back down and check out the final area. In your set of tender, we have a gatekeeper, we have a Telby. I think these folks are always here. I highly doubt these two have anything unique to say. Because these are fashion report NPCs. Oh, alright, just checking. We have another imp. Ha, ha, ha! Another cheer and back to guarding. Very well. And let's check the second floor of this one. We have the mahjong tables with the tutor. No one net new or special here. Bummer. And on the other side, back at the lounge. Is there anybody hiding over here? The usual, the usual. Nobody is hiding over there. Alright. 
Hmm. Let's go see if there's anyone upstairs. Usually there's nobody on this second area because it's not a continuous zone, but I'm gonna poke around and look anyway. Nobody up here. All right. We will do a little reminder and review then. That concludes the event. That concludes the area exploration. And now, three reminders. Good lord. Can I have some nicer lighting. Please. No? 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 None? Okay, cool. Great. Awesome. We'll just face backwards then, I suppose. So. Reminder a number one. Excuse me? What do you mean I cannot? That's what I thought. Reminder number one. Here during this event, there is a 50% increase to your MGP, but you can still use FC and or personal buffs to increase that further, and it's cumulative. So if you happen to have the jackpot 2 or 3 buff, those will give a 10% and 15% buff respectively to all members of the FC in which they are active. If you have Gold Saucer VIP cards, which you can obtain from Grand Company Squadron missions, those give you, a single character, single player, a 15% personal buff for, I believe, three hours? Which is easier to obtain as an individual, but obviously less uh, efficient overall than a 24-hour FC-wide buff. Reminder, number two! If you are in fact looking to spend MGP, you'll want to come to this campaign attendant. This campaign attendant is only here during the event, and she has a bunch of usual items at discounted prices. For example, let's go into two and we'll look at... The Blood Sword, sure. 7,000 MGP. Blood Sword, 7,000 MGP. So if we come over to the normal prize claim and we look for the Blood Sword, it's normally 10,000 MGP. You can still buy it for 10,000 MGP. I don't recommend you do so when you could save 3,000 over at the campaign attendant. So if you are looking to actually spend MGP during this event after you've earned your your mountains hoard, make sure to hit up this girly right here, the campaign attendant. She is in a white suit. She is standing in front of a cactuar. She is only here during this event. And uh, reminder three for you. Have fun. And make use of all the gates, because you get to double dip on earning bonus MGP, fulfilling challenge logs, and doing the Moogle Treasure Trove event, all at the same time. So that is that for the Make It Rain event for 2024. Good evening, Cena Streamers. Till next time.